Hi folks, this is Tom. Today, let's talk about cross-polarization, or in plain English, why it's important when you have a radio, your antenna wants to be vertical as opposed to horizontal to get into a radio system. Before we do the actual test, let's uh, take a look at our test subjects here today. The first thing we have is a 1949 vintage Western Electric manufactured I-106A field strength meter. This thing's really cool. I've gone through and I've redone it. And this actually, its birthday is 1109 of 49. So happy 75th birthday. On the left hand side, you'll see a generic zero to 200 microamp meter movement. That just uh, indicates relative field strength. And the right hand side is a tuning knob here. And what that does is that selects frequency. Uh, behind the scenes, inside the case, what you can't see is there's a tuning capacitor there. And as you go higher in frequency here to about, about 165, 170 megahertz, it's at minimum capacity. And as you go down lower, you uh, put more capacity in. And what that does is that lowers the frequency that this operates at. So we're going to turn this back up here. And what I'm going to do is yeah. check it out and survey says we're pretty good. I'm gonna pause this for a minute. Okay, we're back again here. I had to reset the meter, of course. You know, you touch it and <laughs> it's not back to where it was. Uh, the joys of only having one hand free here. Okay, our second piece of test equipment here is something that's near and dear to just about everybody in Wildland Fire. This is a Bendix King uh, BK radio. Uh, it's VHF, uh, 5 watts. It's the uh, the DPH radio. They call this one the brick, and this is like a, an old favorite of folks here. Okay, let's do the actual test. We're going to back up here, and I'm going to switch hands. And if you look, oops, right here you see the, field, the, the meter is absolutely pegged right there. And we're vertical. Watch now what happens when I turn this sideways. We've now cross-polarized this, and it goes down to almost nothing here. And we go back up, and it goes full scale. We go back down, and it goes down to almost nothing. Bring it back up. Here we go. So you can plainly see here that if you hold the radio straight up and down, you get uh, the maximum coupling between the two of these. And if you go sideways, you have minimum coupling or minimum transfer of energy. And we can talk about, again, cross polarization and how many decibels that is. I think it's somewhere between 20 and 30 dB, which is 100 to 1,000 times less here than when you bring it up to full vertical. So it makes a huge difference. Now you've seen it visually. Hopefully the light bulb's gone on there and hope this helps you all. Thanks for watching.